man, one thing that I learned, it was a few years back, I started hanging out with some guys that were in a, uh, it was actually a network marketing group. And one thing they taught me a lot about was a positive mental attitude. And, you know, some of this stuff they would say, it took me a few years to get, but that positive mental attitude, it turned out to be everything to me for my career, for my marriage, for my spiritual life, for everything. And so I want to talk about, you know, I know you have some times where it's been up and down for you, but I want to talk about how your attitude kind of affects your day to day. And yeah. so, because we all battle it, man. There's been times where I've had a, a terror, like you can't wake up every day and just feel a thousand percent. There's been times where I woke up and I had a super bad attitude or, you know, my first thought was a stressful thought or something as soon as I cracked my eyeballs. And, you know, things can, that can really create a path where you start having a habit of being negative, but also you can kind of notice that you're doing it and rise above and, and switch it to positive, which is the whole point of what I want to talk about is that positive mental attitude and how important it can be for you. Yeah, I mean, especially with all the stuff that, that we're doing in our life. I mean, and anytime you're trying to do anything, there's going to be obstacles, you know, regardless of what that is. And we always talk about controlling what you can control. And that is something that you can control is your attitude. You can't necessarily control all the factors that happen, these things that go wrong, all these things, but having a positive attitude, because the thing about it is it's like those things are going to happen regardless. Yeah. So why not choose positivity? And it's way easier said than done. Like you said, it's something that we both have to, you know, constantly look at every single day and choose to be positive, choose to, to just look at the glass half full instead of half empty. Yeah. It that's goes hard sometimes, man. It goes back into really just habit building because there's been times where I had, you know, employees and it was, let's just say, for example, it's Monday and this is happening at the office. There's been days where that, that Monday I got angry and then that same Monday, the same exact thing was happening, but we handle it well. And then we wonder like yeah. how to continue doing that. And one thing that I have to say about attitude, man, is that gratitude can affect your attitude. Yeah. And so the reason I say that is because if you can take your attitude and notice that it's going downhill, and kind of think about some things that you're grateful for or things that you should be happy about even though this one negative thing is happening it can really love it it can get your mind off of that negative subject onto something that is easier to move on from like example say you're walking into a meeting or walking into dinner with your wife or walking anywhere where you're you feel like you're having a negative attitude well if you can start that gratitude thought on the way there the first thing that comes out of your mouth when you see someone you hadn't seen all day or in a week or so won't be as you know it won't be as negative it won't be as on edge it won't be as you know classified bad mm -hmm. so the attitude is just everything when it comes to hanging out with people when it comes to building momentum when it comes to building relationships nobody wants to hang out with you all day if you got a crappy attitude no. i've been there no i've been there i've showed it why would you know what i mean and so there's also another thing i want to say about your attitude is that once you get the habits in place to where it's easy for you to switch from, you know, negative to positive and all that good stuff, you'll start wondering why would you, why were you even having a bad attitude to begin with? Yeah. Why do you even, a bad attitude does nothing for you or the people around you. You know, it's a cancer. I mean, it truly is a it cancer. Can, yes. And, you know, my early life revolved around sports. Okay. And then now <clears throat> my life revolves around business, really. And I can remember so many good athletes that just had a terrible attitude. I know you can too. And you're, when you have a terrible attitude, you're only going to go so far. You truly do have a ceiling of because eventually people just aren't going to want to be around you. Eventually people just aren't going to want to be on your team because you're so negative and it brings everybody down. So I, I like to bring it back to real world, like with whatever that you're, you know, where, whatever job that you're in, because I had some crappy jobs before we created the businesses that we did. And, you know, even in those crappy jobs, having a good attitude changes everything for, you know, your, your ceiling really, because so many people show up day after day, have a good attitude and over time they progress and people want to be around them. People want to, cause it's contagious. Just like a negative attitude is contagious. So is a positive attitude. And let me ask you guys this. If you are trying to attract something, whether it be a woman, some, you know, I don't know how many female listeners we got. Maybe it's a man. Maybe it's, you know, uh, just a, a thing like you're trying to attract money towards you. You're trying to attract, you know, good, good things to you. Do you think that's easier or more difficult if your attitude sucks? Let me tell you, it's way easier if you're smiling, if you feel positive, if you're living out positively. And something I read in a book, it was by John Maxwell. I don't know what order of books it is, but I picked it up at a thrift store. It was written in 1984. It was called Attitude, Your Keys to Success. And in the first chapter, it described how your attitude is your altitude. So how far you're gonna go is dependent on your attitude, exactly. okay? So if you, knowing that, why would we not put in the work to, 
you know, I'm not saying you got to be happy 24 seven every single day of the week. There are bad things that are going to happen. We live in a world with 8 billion people compared to years ago. There was way less than this. There's way too many cars that are getting in accidents. There's way too many people overlapping each other. There's way too many things happening for you to have a constant happy attitude every day, but you can build self-awareness to where when that, ne that negative attitude creeps up, you can start switching it back and you'll start gaining back your mental fortitude and you'll start gaining back some of your time that you've used to spend negative or down in the dumps or unhappy or depressed or whatever. Yeah. And I know for me, some of the people that I look up to the most are the people that, man, it could be raining, worse situation, their tires flat, they're in the rain, they're dealing with all these obstacles and then they're just like kind and calm and collective. And it's like, dude, how do you do that? But I look up to those people because a lot of times for me, like I said, I'm working on this myself. I'm constantly choosing to have a positive attitude. And sometimes it is hard, like just yeah. being real. It's so easy to go to the negative in the world that we live in today. But those people that choose positivity time and time again, man, I really, I really just look up to them and it's really what I want to be. Like I want to choose positivity and I want to be that light that encourages people because the negative, like Alex said, it, it just gets you nowhere in life. It just doesn't. Yeah. And ever since, you know, ever since I started get, getting in the word and everything and realizing these things, it's really that every, every situation you get in, there's two ways to act. It's kind of like being a leader. You're either a good leader or a bad leader. You can either react positively or you can react negatively. Well, I don't know how many times I had to react negatively, but one day I woke up and I said, I'm tired of it, man. I'm tired of having this attitude. I'm tired of, you know, three, four, six days out of the month having to fix myself or wonder what's wrong with my mind because of the attitude that I'm presenting. I chose to focus on the positive things instead. And let me tell you how far it's gotten me in my career and my relationships with other people and my marriage, everything. Just because I, I took one time or uh, I got tired of feeling a certain way and I took that and I started trying to be positive with it instead. And that's good, man. And I can, I can attest just in the three years that we've been working together, that change I've noticed, you know, cause yeah. you're, you do wear your emotions on your sleeve more than anybody I've ever noticed, but you've gotten so good at controlling those emotions. And I, I just love and that about you. That's what you, that's what I had to do. You know, yeah. after, after you hang out, you know, there's habits. Some people have habits that are, some people are 40 years old listening to this right now. And they have habits that they've been working on since they were, or going through since they were 11. You know, I'm, I'm right around 30 and I have the same thing, you know, three years ago when Brent and I met, there was some, there's some habits I was still hanging on to that I had from being, you know, 11 to 14 years old and I knew it, but Hey, I had to go to work on them. And that's why I started producing or uh, not producing content, but digging into content. I needed to hear from other people that had battled a negative mindset. I needed to hear from other people that had led with a negative attitude. And I also needed to dig into the word because if you want something that will change your mind or your attitude faster than anything, think about the guy that gave it all for your sin and that died on a cross for you. It's pretty hard to be too pissed off after you hear that. That's so true. And I, I, I wanted to go there, but like our faith does really help us with that attitude because you realize that all of this stuff is temporary. The flat tire is temporary. The, the bad break is temporary. The breakup, you're heartbroken, whatever it is, it's temporary and we have eternity to spend where there isn't going to be any of that stuff. So it really does like our faith truly does help us get through those bad times with a positive attitude because you know that really all things are working for our good if we can see it because sometimes the trials and tribulations that's working on our patience. Yeah, sometimes we just need a reframing. I've been yes. in a I've been in a situation, Brent and I have been in situations in business where terrible things were happening, things that I didn't want any part to do with. But we call each other and we say, hey, man, this is an opportunity. This is the yeah. time where we're going to get better. Right. This is the time where we're going to get a chance to show a negative attitude. But if we can rise above it with a positive one, we're going to win this thing. Right. And it has happened to us time and time again. Yeah. And I know for us in like a business world, bringing it back to the business world, when we're looking to hire somebody to come work in our organization, Attitude is a big thing that we're considering because I would take somebody with a great attitude and less skills any day of the week because I know exactly what happens to a bad attitude guy. That cat is going to spoil the whole bunch, just like a bad fruit ruins yeah. the whole piece of fruit or the whole thing of fruit. That's exactly what happens to a bad attitude because it, it is contagious. And when it comes to your business, <clears throat> when it comes to your business, you're only as strong as your weakest link. If you look at you know, I don't know how many employees you have watching, but if you look at your organization and let's say it's you and four other people, well, if you have one of those guys that's the lowest on the pole, you need to start analyzing him and trying to help him get better because it, your, your organization is always gonna be as strong as your weakest link. Yeah. And so, and I wanna give a shout out 
while we're talking about this, I thought of a, a good friend of ours. His name's Jake Freeman. He had uh, led our Bible study one week and something that really helped change my attitude. He said, if we're on earth, that is the closest as a believer that you will ever get to hell. And that is something that has stuck with me. That is something that I think about constantly because it's something that we are called to endure. We're called to go through the things that we go through for the glory of God. That's right. And so when I think about that statement that he made at that uh, Bible study, it always puts my mindset in a better spot. So yeah. shout out Jake. And you know, how can you apply this to your day-to-day -day life? Like if you're sitting there dealing with the same struggles that most people are dealing with, what are some like real world things that you can do? Well, I think the first thing that Alex brought up earlier was you got to be aware. Like you really got to be aware of what you're dealing with. You know, he said he had to go back to when he was 11, 12, 13 years old and deal with some of the stuff that was leading to the anger. So I think you first have to be aware of your situation and you really have to have like a conscious effort to, to choose to be positive. To break away because yeah. your habits are already they're, they're there. In. They're already they're there. In. Yeah, they're so baked in. So I think you first off have to be aware. Then you have to start seeking the content that's going to lead like there's so many books there's so many podcasts there's so many youtube videos on having a positive ad attitude so start diving into that stuff and then the word of god obviously has done more in that that area than anything that i've ever read has helped me with that but then i think you just really need to reflect on where you're at and look at the people out there that are doing great things most of them have a positive good attitude so it's just it's like applying it to your life and your situation what is it that's causing you to have a negative attitude what is it that's that's limiting you from getting to your success a lot of times it is that bad attitude yeah. is what's keeping you from growing and sometimes all of all our brains need is a little reframing you know we can like like for example if you're if you're mad you got to go you know pay for gas like think about people that don't even have a car you know if you're mad that you got to go run six miles think about people that can't even use their legs you know, sometimes all it takes is a little reframing of the situation or the, or the, you know, what's going through your mind to get your attitude better. And so that's something I use constantly in, in, in creating success for myself and, and staying positive minded towards others. You know, you might be one of those guys that you're sitting here and having the, having the best day ever, but you and your, I've, I've been there where mentally I thought, you know, maybe tomorrow or three days from now, that's going to be the day where I lose it or I have a terrible day or whatever, you know, with these thoughts and these, and these habits, uh, as you build them up and become more of a positive person, those days don't have to happen as much anymore. Those days don't have to happen at all. Now I, I'll go 120 days without having anything happen to me that's super negative. And I, yeah. you know, I, I, I like to attribute that obviously to the word. But when we say the word and all this, man, all I'm really saying is that that book has given me a principle, a, a, a locked and loaded way to live life where I don't have to think about it anymore. Not how should I respond to this situation and that, but here's how to respond every time in the right way. And that has helped me more than anything, you know, yeah. reading things. It's not like I was out here trying to cheat on my wife, but reading about how adultery is bad for you over and over again, it really makes you not want to do it. Yeah. It's something that really helps when it comes to mindset or anything else. So, yeah. And I think the last thing I'm going to say on this attitude thing is it doesn't it doesn't necessarily matter where you're at. Like if you're just if you're in high school, if you're just getting into your career, like if you can figure this piece out, it's going to pay you dividends, not only in your pocketbook, but in the relationships, mm. because I've had so many friends, so many people in my life, so many people that I've just watched that had a negative attitude. And eventually, man, they're lonely. Eventually, they, you know, people just don't want to be around that negative Nancy, that person who always just sees the bad, that person who's always complaining. Like, it's not fun that to be victim, around. That yeah. victim mindset. It's not fun to be around. So I just would challenge all of you guys that are listening to reflect on that and choose positivity time and time again. And I think it's, it's probably overstated in our world, but I don't think it's really applied because so many people when you see them go through something, you really see their true character and you really see their true, you know, mindset, whether it is positive or negative. And a lot of times it's easy to go negative. It's not easy to go positive because really that's the thing. What you said was so good about the reframing, because when, when I have a flat tire or when something bad happens, my initial thought is that, man, this is awesome. But when I feel that negative thought seep in, I can, I can, there's something inside of me that clicks and just, I think differently. 
but the negative thought is there, but you have to fight it. You have to, yeah. The the truck, that's the perfect time to be like, man, thank God I have a car. You know, some people Uber back and forth to work. I know people, like through our church, we try to help people get a car where yeah. they like had kids and they were Ubering their kids back and to and fro from school and all yeah. that. We, we're grateful to even even have a vehicle. It goes back to what you said, the gratitude and the attitude, man. That's it, like, they line they up. rhyme for a reason. They I think. line up. You know, they rhyme for a reason. So I, I love, I love having the thought of having a positive attitude every single day. I want people to say that about me. I want people to say, man, that Brent guy, he might be crazy, but he's got a positive mindset every time he comes in this place. And I want that for you guys. So, you know, we pour into, we pour into this video series just because this stuff has truly helped us. And that's our only hope is that it might help you. So wherever you're at, really reflect on how do you handle stressful situations? Really reflect on even in your day to day, are you being positive with other people? Like, are you encouraging other people? Are you truly caring about your neighbor and going at them with a positive attitude? Because I love people that pick me up. Mm -hmm. I love people that are, you know, constantly trying to pour into me. And I want you to be that. I want to be that guy for other people. And if you become an encourager, if you become an encourager to others, there is no way that not that you won't fail, but there is no way that the feelings that you give those other people, they won't try to pick you up as well. It's a much better way to live life. And the last thing I want to say is that when it comes to these habits, man, we all know a guy who's 50, 60, 40 years old, terrible attitude, always complaining, always this and that, victim mindset, this happens to me, this is because of whatever, it's always happening to me, not for me. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something about habits. The sooner you start knocking them out, the sooner you start trying to go positive, the sooner you start is the sooner that you will be that person that you have the potential to be. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to attitude, I believe that that potential person is sitting in there waiting to, waiting to be glorified, right. so. Thanks, guys. Pin drop.